Palm oil is is the invisible force uh, in the global commodity market. It's the second most valuable agricultural commodity in trade after soy, um, and the, now the dominant oil in trade. And um, and yet nobody's aware of it. It's in everything from cookies to noodles to lipstick. Um, but you really have to search the ingredient labels to discover when you're eating palm oil. Um, and that, 10 years ago, seemed to be an impossible barrier to action for conservation because how do you enlist consumers when they don't even know when they're eating it? Um, but that's a barrier that we have transcended uh, over the last 10 years through campaigns that helped people make that connection and inspired big brands to begin to pay attention. Uh, and I think that's been the secret to the opening we now see. My name is Jim Leap. I am a consulting professor here at Stanford. I came to Stanford in the summer of 2014 after several years as the head of WWF, the Global Conservation Organization. Well, I came to Stanford um, with a particular interest in looking at what we've learned over the last 30 or 40 years about how to make conservation happen, um, but also in particular the role that big companies are beginning to play in driving sustainability. Um, and so I came focused on that. Uh, and one of the areas where that interest has been most palpable has been in the field of commodities, the production of food and fiber that we all depend on. And so that took me naturally into uh, a focus on that sector. Um, and within that, on the particularly interesting challenge of palm oil. Half the world's palm oil is produced in Indonesia. Uh, and so that's been a natural geographic focus. And they're looking very specifically at how various partners can come together to actually transform the palm oil sector in that country. Environmental groups played a very important role in bringing people's attention to the fact that palm oil was driving significant deforestation in Southeast Asia and that it was ubiquitous in the marketplace. I think what, what opened the conversation was a concern about how the sort of rapidly expanding, uh, rapidly expanding palm oil production was driving the conversion of forests and also peatlands, which are a major source of carbon emissions. So that, that was the beginning of the conversation. But as that conversation has developed, it's been clear to everybody that a, that a path for palm oil that is sustainable in the long term has to be serious both, both about environmental consequences and about the social and economic consequences. So it needs to be a path that works for rural development in Indonesia and in other countries, as well as protects the forest. And that's the conversation that's now underway. Well, one of the great discoveries for me in coming to Stanford is there actually are a lot of people here interested in palm oil and working on palm oil. Um, I think more than, I mean, something like 15 or 20 altogether are working in this space. And that means there's a very rich intellectual resource to draw upon for this work with literally decades of experience. And so we've been working with the Indigenous Peoples Organization, with the Small Farmers Organization, with the Chamber of Commerce, uh, and with other partners to help explore the possibilities for a collaboration and to help them engage the international actors who could be supportive of such an effort. But an initiative to transform the palm oil sector in Indonesia has to be led from Indonesia. And it has to be an agenda which is centered around development. How does this sector continue to grow in Indonesia while protecting the forest? So our role from here has been to support the development of that kind of initiative, to identify the players in Indonesia who are interested in working towards transformation of the palm oil sector and help them put together a collaboration which would make that possible. It's all those pieces coming together that is the key, right? It is consumers telling companies that they expect them to be responsible. It's companies making commitments. It's companies and government working with producers to actually change practices. It's financial institutions coming in to make those changes possible. It's all of those pieces coming together that will actually transform this sector. One of the things that's important to recognize about oil palm is it's actually an incredibly efficient way to produce vegetable oil. And so it's actually an important and valuable part of the global food system. And the key is to figure out how we continue to expand palm oil production to meet the growing needs around the world for vegetable oil without cutting down more forest. Uh, and that's what these efforts are, in their simplest terms, all about. How do we chart a future for this valuable crop that really does work for the communities that live with it and for the forests upon which they and we depend?